interpret the things that are meant to meant to have a certain meaning, you misinterpret them, you interpret them in your in a tainted view because your life or your mind itself is tainted. Mm -hmm. Now it's possible for the mind to be tainted by the things of the spirit. Yeah. Thank you. Please take yourself. I want to show you something interesting. The Bible says, let this mind be in you which was in Christ Jesus. Philippians chapter 2 verse 5. Mm -hmm. Let this mind which was in Christ Jesus be in you. Mm -hmm. Watch. This is what Jesus was like. He comes down from praying. He has told his disciples, cross over to the other side. I'll meet you on the other side. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, then when he comes down from the mountain, he then looks for a boat mm -hmm. to cross over as well. And he does not find one. Then he continued with his journey. Yes. On the sea. Mm -hmm. Why is it that the mind of sinking never crossed him? Why is it that the thoughts of sinking never crossed him? Because he had a certain mindset. Mm. A mindset that uses the laws of the realm of the spirit. Yeah. He understands, you see, on this earth there are laws. For an example, if you go on top of the building and you jump, the law is you will come down. Yeah. It doesn't matter whether you pray in tongues 24 hours, you will come down. down. But in the realm of the spirit there are laws as well. You see, healing is a law. When we pray for people and release, release the healing anointing, we are actually functioning using the laws of the realm of the spirit. There is a higher level of laws. Mm. Miracles happen as a result of spiritual laws that have been enforced. Yeah. Did you know that when you are born again, it is illegal for you to be sick? I told you I'm going to get deep here. Yeah. I need to check on Pastor Takaez. <laughs> These are my convictions. It's illegal to be sick. You get sick, but it's illegal. How many of you agree it's illegal to cross a red robot? You do. But how many people, illegal as it is, still continue to cross a red robot? And many do get away with it. <laughs> The Bible says, is there anyone amongst you that is sick? Mm. The church had gotten to a level where they were all healthy. They had to look for the sick. Yeah. Yeah. They had to search for them. Is there anyone amongst you that is sick? <laughs> Let him call upon the elders of the church to come home and pray for them. We don't want to do that petty business in church of praying for sick people. When we come together, we are coming together as conquerors. We have won yeah. in the name of Jesus. Mm. So if you are sick, just call upon the elders to come home and pray. Now, when he says elders, he's not referring to people who have got big stomachs and white hair. No. He's talking about people who have matured in the things of God. Yeah. And they don't get sick themselves. For how shall you pray for the sick when you are sick yourself? Yeah. They've gotten to the place where they have refused to get sick. I didn't say you don't get sick. I didn't say you don't get an attack to get sick. But when you do, you refuse. Yeah. Yes. You say, devil, you wrong address, wrong address. Wrong address in Jesus' name. I don't, I don't get sick. I'm born again. Yeah. The life of God inside of me refuses me to get sick. Yeah. The Bible says, the spirit of him who dwells in me, he shall quicken my mortal body. He shall bring divine life to my mortal body. Cancer, go in Jesus' name. You are illegal. Yeah. Now, you, you can look at me. So of cancer is there on your body, but you recognize you refuse to recognize it. But but you've got cancer. No, I don't in the name of Jesus. This thing is illegal, it will close. You wake up every morning, you prophesy to it, you don't you speak to it, you don't look for water from Nigeria or from somewhere, and, and, and you're looking for a prophet to prophesy over you. You are the greatest prophet over your life. From the word of God, you speak to it. Cancer in the name of Jesus, you are illegal on my body. Cancer will go. It's a mindset. Mindset. Now this thing happens this way, church. Many times when you pray in tongues, many times when you pray in tongues, you start off having weird ideas and weird thoughts. Why don't you just go and make yourself a cup of coffee and, and, and warm up the, the leftovers from yesterday from in the microwave? And, yeah. you know, all these weird things that are coming through your mind when you start off praying. Mm. But then there's a level that you get to. Yeah. Hey. Dramatize this so that people can understand it. Yeah. So it's it's tough in the beginning to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, and you're almost making mistakes. 
the name of Jesus, cup of tea, oh sorry, the name of Jesus, Lord, thank you for the week, ah, what a day I had it with today in Jesus' name, and sometimes you almost fall asleep, and you, if you are going to be patient enough, maybe for about 10 minutes, and you continue to pray in tongues, the Bible says, he who prays in tongues does not speak to men, he speaks to God, and behold, by his mysteries, by his spirit, he's speaking mysteries. Yeah. The Bible says that he who prays in, in tongues edifies himself. Yeah. He builds himself up in the Holy Ghost. Yeah. He builds his faith up in the Holy Ghost. And all of a sudden, while you are seated there, this thing will begin. Usually, to me, it begins in my... In my yeah. it, it, it starts as off as though it's around this area. Yeah. Around this area. And you go... All of a sudden, you don't know how you stood up. Yeah. You, you are gaining command if yeah. you are in challenges. Scriptures begin to run through your mind. Yeah. You are more than a conqueror. Even the tongues begin to change now. They get thicker. As that happens, Visions begin to go through your mind. Yeah. They come through as thoughts. Yeah. I discovered that many ideas that have been implemented in our church and where be have come through when I'm praying. Mm. Yeah. When you pray in tongues and you, you've closed yourself in. Don't be in this business of, of praying when you know that you've got 10 minutes and you want to go somewhere. Yeah. Prepare good time to pray. If you are one who comes from work late and you are tired, wake up early and give it at least an 